Now here I am going to explore your relational operators. So arithmetical operators we have already used. Now we are going to use relation operators for again for the variables or the particular programs which we are going to create later on by using this values. So let us check what are the operators we do have into the relational operators. Now very first you have hyphen eq. It acts as the same as your operator equals to. That means it is going to check whether it is equal or not. But in spite of using double equals to, I'll be using hyphen eq which will check your variable a is equal to your variable b or not. Same thing, if the condition become true, it will give you a true value. If not, it will give you a false value. Then you have ne, that is not equal to. So we can also set in spite of your not, that is exclamation equals to. In spite of that, I can also define hyphen ne, that again provide me the same output. Then you have hyphen gt, that is greater than. If I want to check whether my a is greater than b or not, I can also check by using hyphen gt. Same way I can use lt for less than or not. I can check whether my a value is less than or not your b. So if it is less than the b, it will give you a true value, not, so it will give you a false value. The next we have that is ge. Again, it will provide you a greater than or not. So that particular value will be provided by A equals to GE then your B. Then we have LE that is again the left operand is less than your right hand operand or not. So same way variable A is less than your B or not. So again we can use such kind of relational operators while we are adding the command. So it will reduce using the arithmetical operator. It can provide you the facilities to check whether these operators are greater than or less than the existing variable or not. So let us check how we can use this relational operators into our program. So here we can check into uh, one of my loop. This is the file statement where I have used the if 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 statement and if if statements will also provide you the uh, what kind of your loop is. So it is if else kind of statement like uh, I have defined it over here to uh, fetch a particular value from the user and store it into the variable a same way fetch the second member from the user and fetch it into the and store it into the value b now if we have done that now if command if the condition we are setting like if this value a is equal to value b then we should get a message that both values are equal so i have just used the relation operator over here that is equal so here it is giving you the same message if the value is true if it is false so what it will do it will directly give you the value that this values are not equal to with each other let us check with this so i've just saved the file here i'm going to run the file by using sh command so sh roll if dot sh and you can see it is asking me for the first number i'm going to define the first number as two second number as three so it's showing me both values are not equal same way if I run the same shell and if I give 2 as the first value and again 2 as the second value, it will show me both are equal. This way I have defined the um, complete relation operators into the if conditions. Because when you are talking about the relation operators, means they are having some relations with the other operators. And when we are defining the condition, we cannot define it directly a variable. We need to use it into some of the loops or where we define the conditions in the cases or in the statements. So this is how generally I have used the relational statement. So you can use it uh, and modify it into different relational statements you have like less than, equal to, you can define any one of it, right? So this is what exactly we have seen how we can use the relational operators into your shell. So you can see the whole complete process is happening just because of this relational operator. This is going to check the condition of both the variables, this, uh, the relation of both the variables, whether they are equal or not by using this EQ. So this is what exactly we have seen how we can use the relational operators into the if else statement. So if I want to use the same other operators, I'll be using again the if condition and where I'll be defining the variables and the values. Let us check into the next video where we are going to see about the Boolean operators.